Hi, my name is Cody. I'm a technical support engineer with Go Engineer. Today, in this quick tips video, I'm going to show you how to apply materials to your toolbox components. To do this, we're going to launch a program called Toolbox Settings. This can either be found by searching, or this is under SolidWorks and SolidWorks Tools. If you use a PDM system to manage your database, you will have to check it out. We're going to customize our hardware today. In this window, we are going to define a custom property for material, and we're just going to name this material. The next selection we want to choose is a list box. This will allow us to link to SolidWorks's library of materials. And in options, I'm going to select each value will have a new configuration name. This means that for each material I have for a component, it will allow me to assign different comments, descriptions, and most importantly, part numbers. From here, we can select the any of the SolidWorks materials, whether that be standard materials or custom materials. We're gonna just define some materials. The suffix is just the uh, end of the file extension needed um, when it creates these new configurations. I'm just going to abbreviate the materials I choose. Once I've done this, I'm going to select OK. I'm not going to apply this custom property at this level because it would apply these three materials to every folder and I want to be much more precise for where I apply these materials. So I'm going to dive down into my folder to the component I wish to apply these materials to and I will apply these materials. It will prompt me and ask if I want to create new configurations and I'll select yes. Once I've done that I can select the material and only allow materials that are relevant for certain components. Like it wouldn't make sense to have a rubber socket head cap screw. So I'm going to deselect that as an option. And now my users will only be able to select between plain carbon steel and cast alloy steel. Just like we've done with our socket head cap screws, we could go into our O-rings folder and apply our materials. Again, we'll select yes. And we can turn off plain carbon steel and cast alloy as they don't make, make much sense for an O-ring, but rubber is a very valid option. Now within SOLIDWORKS, when we bring in a toolbox component, it will allow us to select the material of that component. This will change the appearance and the properties. This has been Cody with Go Engineer, showing you how to apply materials to your toolbox components. Thank you.